Last time on the Model Remodel Show, we were looking back at the smart energy detailing we did on the roof, windows, and ventilation system. We also installed a combination of grain siding and clear concealed trim boards to button up most of the outside of Professional Remodeler's 2017 Model Remodel. This week, we're jumping up on the roof to install the last roofing this house will ever need. I really like metal roofs, um, especially as we're seeing you know, more intense winters around here. Uh, they stand up better, they resist ice damming better, uh, end up being more durable. Um, I was really impressed with the quality of these panels uh, as far as the finish goes on them. Um, some panels that we've used in the past will scratch if you look at them wrong, and this is a really durable finish. It stalls really nicely and stands up to the abuse of being installed, no matter how ginger you try to be on them. Um, so all in all, very happy with uh, Valspar coming through on this project for our beautiful metal roof. That process begins with laying eaves membrane along the lower edge and installing drip edge flashing along the perimeter of the roof. In the valleys, Ben ran a strip of membrane below the valley metal. One nice feature of a metal roof is that the roofing panels lock into the flashings below. It's not by accident either. The panels are tailored to do this, and Ben is the lead tailor. He begins by hemming the bottoms of the sheets and then trimming them to length, detailing the top to fit under the ridge cap. So right here you go right into the crook of the corner. He cuts an inch off the standing seams and bends the flat section under itself. The bend is left relatively open to slip onto the edge metal. Now he cuts the panels to length. Once I find what my length is on the roof, I can come over here, find what my length needs to be on here, and then I can set a combination square right to it. Again, the flat section will be cut an inch longer than the standing seam so that it can be folded up to block windblown rain or snow that gets under the ridge cap. He cuts the ribs and then cuts off the excess panel and folds the end up with his portable bending buddy and hemming pliers. This is not visible finish work. They don't have to be the prettiest things because they're buried underneath the ridge cap. Now they're ready for installation oh. on the roof. The seams lock together, the left one locking over the right one, and Ben slides the panel up the roof to tightly lock into the drip edge. Screw into it. He crimps the joint with hemming pliers and then Rick anchors the panel at the top with a screw so that he can fasten the clips along the seam without fear of the panel moving. The clips lock into the standing seam and are spaced 18 inches apart. With the easy panels installed, they fill in the valleys. Valley panels are similar to the commons, but the bottom hem is angled to lock into the valley flashing. Because the hemming pliers won't fit under this tight seam, the hem is executed with a rubber mallet. Ben also uses a scrap of roofing as a scratch guard during installation. When the panel's in place, Rick sets a screw up top and installs the clips while he waits for another panel. And then they begin at the beginning again. Next week, we'll go back inside to install insulation in the walls and attic after doing a little blower door-directed air seal. <laughs>